we sometimes question the timing of things like this. We were here a few weeks ago having a nice time celebrating his birthday. And the last time I saw him, he was in very good health. So how could he die? But as Elijah said, God gives and God takes. We've all been comrades and associates for a very long time. We as young student activists at the time on campus used to admire Kwesi from afar, especially when he came to deliver his budgets. He was very creative in naming some things in order to allay people's fears. And so devaluation became currency adjustment. <laughs> And then there was something, something and surcharges. Bonuses and surcharges. I mean, very creative, you know. And of course, he was Ghana's longest lasting finance uh, minister. And so naturally, he has been a member of our Council of Elders, but he's also been steering our finance and economic committee. As I speak, he is a convener and chair of our finance committee, economic and finance committee, that is working out a strategy for 2025, looking at how the economy is and projecting to 2025 and trying to put down policies that a new NDC government, if it comes into power, must start implementing immediately. And that's why I said sometimes the timing can be very cruel. I remember the same thing happened when PV died. We had just done the Sinchi Forum. And PV and Kwesi and others were part of the team that was synthesizing the Sinchi Forum report. And then PV2 dropped dead at a very you know, sensitive time for us. But like Halaji said, God gives and God takes. Um, we are sad that the news has been confirmed. We had hoped that will come and you say it was April Fool or something, even though it's November. But unfortunately, um, it is true, and so we have to accept it like that. And uh, to pay our condolences to Wendy and to the family, and to say that this funeral is for all of us. Indeed, we should be joining you and going around and you know uh, greeting people and informing them about the funeral. But as a party, as Council of Elders, we stand ready to pay our respects to our comrade. And so when the family, family itself has sat and you have agreed on what arrangements to make, we'll be very happy if we are informed uh, formally so that we can play our role in giving him the farewell that he deserves. He's a great man. You can be proud of him. He's paid his respects. He's, he's paid his dues to his country, to his party, you know, to his comrades. And... Um, we, we pray that he has peaceful repose. I wish to express our sincere sorrow on what has happened. And you can count on us at any time, you know, once you have agreed what to do as a family, we will join you and make sure we give him the respect that he deserves.